In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. I am Bishop Michael Burbage, the Bishop of the Diocese of Arlington. It is always such a privilege and joy to celebrate Mass at our Basilica Shrine, Mary's home here in this crypt. I encourage you now to bring your needs and intentions before the Lord, who is ever near to us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my case. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch all, all, as all sinned. For up to the day of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Praise you, o Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet, not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Live fearlessly. Basically, they are the words that summarize what Jesus said three times to his disciples in this short gospel passage. Live fearlessly. But no doubt, they must have asked, how can we do that, Lord, based on what you just told us? That we will be sent forth as your witnesses and there we will not always be successful. We might fail. We might meet ridicule and rejection. You told us we will have to suffer and be persecuted if we live as your witnesses. How can we have that courage you tell us to have? And maybe, dear friends, that's the same question we ask the Lord as we try our best every day to live and to proclaim the gospel, to live honorably and purely and justly and with integrity. Because we know when we do so, we too sometimes are ridiculed and rejected, even by those we love and respect. How can we live fearlessly? 
Look at the prophet Jeremiah in our first reading today, sent to preach the word of God, and his friends laughed at him. They mocked him. Jeremiah was put in chains and in prison, but he persevered. How? Because he said, Lord, to you I entrust my cause. He believed God's promise that God would never abandon him. How else can we live fearlessly? Look at those beautiful images that Jesus gave us in the gospel, that a a sparrow would not fall to the ground without the Father's knowledge. The Father knows every, the number of hairs in our head. Jesus' way of saying, I know who you are. I know what you're going through. I love you. I will give you the strength we need. It is only when we are convinced of God's love for us that we can live fearlessly. And how else? We remember who Jesus is. He is the truth. And the truth always wins, proves victorious. The truth always prevails. And he has consecrated us in truth. That is how we live with such courage. Dear friends, each day you are called to live the gospel and to give witness to it. It will not always be easy. You will not always be appreciated. And sometimes you will even be rejected because of doing so. But if you say, Lord, to you, I entrust my cause and believe that he will protect you and never abandon you. If you are convinced of his love for you, and if you live in his truth, you will have the courage and strength you need to be his witnesses. So go forth today and always with God's grace and live fearlessly. And now we profess the faith that unites us. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray in love and confidence to God, our loving Father, for all the graces needed for ourselves and our world conscious that Jesus has told us not to be afraid. For all who preach the word of God, may God's mercy overflow from their hearts and fill their congregations with the love of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all medical personnel, especially those who are taking care of others suffering from the coronavirus, may God strengthen them and give them protection and good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage, 
and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the permanent diaconate. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, may our only fear of God be that of losing his love and offer all our sufferings for, for the fulfillment of his will. We pray to the Lord. Father, we make our prayers to you, confident that you will fill us with your love, which takes away all fear. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus, lead the way through our lives long day. When at times the way is cheerless, help us Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his culture. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, my brother Wilton, the bishop of this church, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy of us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy of us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and grant us peace. And the sprinkling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring into judgment and condemnation, but through your love and mercy be from your protection of mind and body and in holy memory. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Dear friends, I know that many of you at home are carrying some heavy crosses, physically and emotionally. So allow those words that the Lord spoke today penetrate your heart. Do not be afraid. Know that he is with you. He's ever near to you to protect you and strengthen you and sustain you. So throughout this day, just maybe repeat these words as your prayer. To you, O Lord, I entrust my cause. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. Amen. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call 1-866-507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass trusting in him i shall not fear عند اذ سوف يجيبه الصالحين يا سيدي متى رايناك جائعا فاطعمناك او عطشانا فرويناك متى رايناك غريبا فاستضفناك أو عاريا فكسيناك متى رأيناك مريضا أو سجينا فزرناك الملك سوف يجيب حقا أقول لكم كل ما فعلتموه مع أحد من هؤلاء الإخوة والأخوات فعلتموه من أجلي <تصفيق>